Scotland is a very old country. Elements of its culture can be traced back thousands of years, and so can its legends. From terrifying cannibals to mysterious Highland monsters, here are 10 dark Scottish legends. The Bean Nye is a messenger from the Otherworld. She takes on the form of an old woman and can be found at the sides of streams washing old clothing. As you get closer, you notice she is washing blood out of the clothing. You'll notice she has one nostril, one eye, and webbed hands. She was an ordinary woman, but sent to the Otherworld when she died in childbirth. And now she's returned to our world as an omen of death. If you see her, either you or someone close to you will surely die soon. It's very blood she is washing out of the clothing. There was once a young girl who hated the world we live in, and hated herself so much she commits suicide. Within a month, all her friends and family members had mysteriously died. The girl's ghost is said to have killed anyone who remembered her, to make it as though she never even existed. But she had forgotten about some who knew of her, and so I learned this tale. Still, she kills anyone she is aware of who knows of her existence. The fact that I'm telling you of her puts every single one of you at risk. In Northern Scotland is a strait of water known as the Mink. It said a race of blue humanoid beings call the Mink home. Unlike mermaids, the blue men have legs. On stormy days, they emerge from the waves and approach passing boats in groups. The group leader will shout two lines of poetry. And if those on board can finish the next two lines of poetry, the blue men will vanish back into the sea, allowing the boat to pass. If those on board cannot finish the poem, the blue men will attempt to drown them, either capsizing the boat or dragging the sailors underwater until they die. Local communities would throw barrels of ale into the mink as peace offerings to the blue men. In Scotland's most northern islands, they tell of a terrifying beast called Nokalavi. He lives in the sea but emerges onto land to cause unspeakable destruction. He resembles a centaur in some ways, but has both the head of a human and a horse. The Nokalavi is the most destructive and terrifying monster known to man, being completely without skin. He is a giant who towers above humans, but he is afraid of running water. The only way for his victims to achieve safety is to run behind a stream or river. But before long, he will once again emerge from the waves and hunt his target. Ben McDewey is Scotland's second biggest mountain, and it's home to a mysterious human-like creature. The Grey Man of Ben McDewey is a horrific sight. He is much taller than humans, and with his enormous frame possesses great strength. Covered in thick black fur, he will only be seen on stormy days. Climb the mountain on a stormy day and the Grey Man will stalk you. It's unlikely you will notice his presence until he's close enough to break your neck. He was first encountered in the 19th century when mountaineering clubs began mapping peaks. In the Scottish Highlands is a shape-shifting creature who takes on the appearance of an old hag. The Highlands hag can be found wandering aimlessly in the countryside. Many have approached her thinking she was a vulnerable old woman, only to realize she isn't even human. She asks them three questions. If able to answer them correctly, they will leave safely. If unable to answer all three questions, the Highland Hag will gouge out their eyes, and they too will be forced to wander aimlessly until found by someone else. A common beast in folklore of the British Isles are monstrous dogs. Cusif is the Scottish hellhound. They look like wolves with dark green fur, but have the size and strength of a bull. Its eyes glow brightly as lit fire. They freely roam the moorlands of Scotland. If you see one, you will strongly feel the need to follow it. When you begin to follow, you won't be able to stop until he leads you into the underworld, where your soul will remain forever. Most won't be able to resist following the Ku Sith, but those who can will cheat death. 
In 19th century Glasgow, Blytheswood Square was a very desirable place to live. So when Captain Smythe found a house there with unusually low rent, he immediately moved in. One night, he was getting ready for a bath when the light suddenly cut out. He then heard the sounds of someone in the bath. Despite being alone, he could faintly see a human figure in the bath washing. When he heard the cupboard door swing open and a young woman walked out of it, she slowly walked towards the bath. And at this point, as the captain stood frozen with fear, she strangled the person in the tub to death and slowly walked back into the cupboard. The captain soon learned why rent on the house was so low. An insane woman once murdered a man in the house as he bathed. In the border town of Linton, they tell tales of a strange monster who once inhabited the area. The Linton worm was a giant serpent, large enough to swallow fully grown cows. It lived inside a hollow hill just outside the town, but it would emerge above ground at dusk and roam freely until dawn. This is when it would feed on the livestock of surrounding farms. Farmers and shepherds were distraught, but there was nothing they could do. The worm was large enough to swallow any human who got in its way. Its scales were invulnerable to any weapon, even gunpowder, but the worm always kept its mouth open while standing still. So a local man took a large spear and bound a clump of burning peat to its head. He ambushed the worm, thrusting the spear into its open mouth. It was instantly slain. A long time ago, Alexander Bean was head of a 48-person clan. Bean was deranged, and at a young age, he and his equally insane wife ran away together. They found a coastal cave and made that their home. In the coming decade, they had 14 children, and through incest, the family eventually grew to 48 members. The inbred cave-dwelling clan would ambush lonely travelers. Local townsfolk would warn of a family who abducts travelers, take them back to their cave, where they murder and cannibalize their victims. It was reported they killed and consumed over a thousand people. When the King of Scotland learned of the inbred cannibal clan, he ordered a 400-strong manhunt. It wasn't long before the family were captured and executed without trial. Male family members had body parts cut off and were made to bleed to death. The women were burned alive, but they say a handful of family members evaded the manhunt and continued to murder. So that's the end of this video. If you want to support this channel, you can do so simply by leaving a like. And if you want more content from me, I have a second channel where I do different videos about different things.